Welcome to Data Warehouse Migration Without the Migraine, featuring Actian and our migration partner, Impetus. In this video, we will see a demo of uh, migrating from Teradata to Avalanche, as an example. And I'll hand over to our partner, Impetus, to explain how easily that migration can be performed to Actian. Uh, so so uh, thanks for having me. Uh, excited to be here. Uh, my name is Matt Phoenix. I'm a director at Impetus. And today we'll, uh, we'll, we'll talk to you about our end-to-end uh, -end automated migration solution for, uh, for Actian Avalanche. Um, I'd actually like to take you through a demo of, uh, of the technology that we use to, uh, to support uh, these engagements. So this is uh, Impetus Workload Transformation. It's a web-based tool that can be deployed uh, on-prem or in the cloud. Um, for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to walk you through the solution and how it maps to the, the four-click paradigm approach that I had previously talked about. Um, the first step is the assessment step. There's really two ways that this assessment can be performed. The first is that you, the customer can send uh, the various artifact outputs from the legacy environment that we need uh, to perform this analysis. Um, and we can run that analysis within our environment. The second way that this can be performed is we can actually, you know, if, if we can actually implement the workload transformation solution behind the customer's firewall and read directly from their source system. So if there's any security constraints uh, for sending us artifacts uh, that we require, uh, we, can, we can certainly do this behind your firewall as well. Um, you know, starting out with the first phase, uh, we have the assessment, um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through an output of uh, a Teradata environment that we analyzed. So the first thing I'd like to draw your eyes to here is uh, is um, uh, the queries that have been analyzed as part of this assessment. So you'll see that we have over 15,000 queries from this Teradata environment uh, that have been analyzed. What's really important here is that we identify right off the bat that a little over 5,000 of them are unique queries. So what, what this means is that right out of the gate, we're identifying redundancy within your environment. This is extremely important because now we just reduced the scope and the overall effort by only by identifying what are the unique queries that need to be transformed uh, and, and moved over to the target environment. Um, if in a manual process, if you were to uh, 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 assume that everything within your Teradata environment would be lifted and shifted up into, uh, into uh, Avalanche, um, that adds a significant amount of unnecessary scope to the project, uh, as well as um, adds uh, 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 it's essentially a garbage in, garbage out type of output. You know, things that are unnecessary, you don't really want to put them into, uh, into the, uh, the target environment that you're going to. Um, the second thing that I'd like to point out is that there's a number of uh, additional dashboards here uh, where we can understand query types, query constraints, various entities. We're also looking at CPU and IO utilization. And we're also able to uh, understand the most resource consuming applications and users. Um, each one of these uh, dashboards are drillable. So if I click on query types, for example, it will bring me to uh, a page where I can actually look at all of the individual queries that were analyzed. What's really important here is that we are a, uh, applying a complexity score to each one of these queries. This complexity score is uh, uh, created based on a proprietary algorithm that we have. Um, and really what the purpose of this is, is to identify and bucket workloads into uh, complexity groups where we know that uh, based on the complexity group that it gets bucketed into, that we can either uh, know that we can that workload can be uh, fully automated and transformed to the modern environment or that we can get some level of automation uh, on, uh, in transforming that workload, but there might need to be uh, some manual tuning on the back end. Or the third bucket is really 
where we identify workloads that uh, might be candidates for uh, complete re-engineering, uh, mainly because uh, they just weren't built to be supported in that new target environment and, and really should be considered for a, a complete re-architecture, uh, re re-engineering. Um, I'd also like to uh, point you to this. So if we look at recommendations here, uh, we can actually see the complexity buckets that I was referring to before. So, you know, basically what this engagement produces is a complete analysis of inventory objects, query level redundancy, complexity of workloads, workload interdependencies, utilization and capacity needs, top resourcing consuming applications, and as an output, what we will provide you is a detailed assessment report, a target architecture design, and a migration plan, uh, pro uh, migration and project plan. So uh, moving on, and uh, you know, keeping that four-step uh, paradigm, four-click paradigm uh, in mind, uh, we'll move on to and show you a migration pipeline of some Teradata data and workloads that have been transformed to. Uh, Actian uh, Avalanche. So here you're going to see that we have a five-stage pipeline consisting of a data migration, a translation step, a data validation step, uh, an execution step, as well as a, 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 a final validation step. Um, we can we can actually look at this pipeline and uh, uh, we can see a visual representation of this pipeline. The green check boxes indicate that each step has successfully, uh, has completed successfully. And then we can start looking at the output of each of these, uh, uh, each of the sta stages in the pipeline. So if I start with the migration step, we can see that uh, we've, we have a number of tables uh, that have been successfully migrated. Um, and uh, that the data, the schemas, the views uh, have been migrated to the target platform. Um, if we look at the second step, the translation step, we can see that there in this pipeline, there were a total of 18 queries that were transformed. Uh, we can see that uh, all of them were successfully transformed um, and that we achieved 100% automated transformation. We can actually scroll down and, and look uh, into the uh, specific translations in more detail, where you can see the original queries, as well as the translated queries for each one of these. And um, if, if there are uh, modifications that need to be made, the migration engineer can actually make those modifications directly in this environment uh, and uh, do any sort of uh, performance tuning uh, that's, that's required or, or that they feel is necessary. I'll move on to the next step, which is the data validation step. Here we're validating that uh, the data has been successfully migrated over and applying specific data validation functions uh, to that. And we can see that that step has been successful. Um, the execution step, which is where that uh, we have confirmed that the translated scripts have been uh, successfully executed uh, on the target platform. And then finally, we have one last validation where we're actually validating that and applying a number of different validation functions uh, to certify and confirm that uh, not only that the data has been uh, successfully migrated, but that the transformed uh, uh, code uh, has been transformed correctly and, uh, and uh, successfully meets the, uh, the defined uh, uh, performance SLAs required. So that, in a nutshell, is... Uh, the impetus workload transformation solution and our approach uh, to uh, automating and accelerating these uh, modernization projects. I appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you, Matt, for that great presentation and demo. If anyone is interested in learning more about Avalanche, I encourage you to visit our website at www.actian.com slash avalanche, um, where you can start a free trial of Avalanche with a $500 credit. We also offer a complimentary migration workshop. Uh, if you're interested, please email Actian Solution Advisors at asa at actian.com. Thank you.